manipulate a narrative, okay. defending their bigotry. Alright, pretty much. Uh, this is Hirohei from YouTube, so he, he does anime stuff, usually anime related. And he says, anti-gamer consulting, uh, consulting uh, resulted in disaster. Don't know if they're referring to Sweet Baby Inc. or some other company that might be similar, but we'll see what that's about in two seconds. So let's play this. You've probably heard of grifting consultancy firms like GamerX, which I've covered quite a bit recently, and how they've had multiple executives stepping down over claims of sexual misconduct, or bigoted firms like SBI and their corpo journalists, who have desperately hmm. tried and failed to manipulate a narrative defending their bigotry and corruption. So let's have a bit of fun and take a look at how things are going for them. Oh no, w what's this? A post by Sweet Baby Inc. talking about how a game that they apparently consulted for, Shadow Gambit the Cursed Crew, the devs and studio, the company behind the game, they're apparently shutting down. That game kind of looked interesting Damn. too. How unfortunate that they decided to waste a bunch of money by paying Sweet Baby Inc. for advice. Okay, okay, well, how about that new Suicide Squad game? Suicide Squad game flops failed to meet Warner Brothers' expectations. Apparently, it's also one of those live service games. Well, let's check out the player count. Over on Steam, this live service game <laughs> had 13,459 players. And right now, it's got uh, 209. Yeah, this stuff doesn't look very good. How about that Gamer X firm? Oh, that's right, Niantic was apparently paying them for consulting, and Pokemon Go recently got a ton of backlash over the recent update. Hold on. Volition. Volition was also paying GamerX for consulting, and Volition was also shut down after a recent flop, the, the latest Saints Row, and that's not even counting the sexual misconduct at GamerX, or their apparent issues with the IRS. It's crazy how these consultancy firms virtue signal to people and act like they're the beacons of morality. And yet, in reality, they are full of bigotry, and it's all a grift, some of them even being ran by literal predators. However, the failures we went over briefly in this video are not fully the fault of these firms. The fact is, these gaming companies have been foolish enough to pay these deplorable firms for business advice. That, plus many other indicators, would display issues at these companies as well. Sort of like a disgusting, toxic hydra. Let me know what you think about this stuff in the comments. As always, thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, consider liking and or subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. So sadly, what, what this is ultimately falling is these consulting firms, whether it be Sweet Baby Inc. or a case may be, is just ruining games in itself. So... I think if you're an indie um, developer, I don't think any consulting firm is a good idea these days, uh, especially ones who are really aggressive enough to want to tell you what to do. I don't know what's where they get this like drunken power of wanting to do this, but this is insane in itself. So yeah. All right, that was Hero A. Like, subscribe, share, follow, and comment. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next one for this reaction.